worth employing someone full time just to keep an eye on those two. The 176th and last home and away match for the 1997 season. And what a game it was. Port still with a chance of making the finals. St Kilda, a win away from top spot for the first time since 1965. All or nothing. After eight victories at Football Park, Port was looking good in its historic quest. Port's two goals coming in a blistering two-minute burst. Late in the turn. Maybe another one. Josh Franco round the body. Oh, his kicker! What a goal by Josh Franco! Brewer. Beautifully to Franco. Here's a chance for Josh. In a couple of minds. Eventually, spins to Wilson! Just forward of the centre, Cummins gives him a lead, Cummins is down the half forward, there's an open goal square, he goes over the top, he's got Eagleton there, Eagleton's going to be the first to recover, if it sets, he does, he kicks it! Off to Paxman, Wanganen's in the middle, he might have another crack at him, Wanganen, 70 metres out, this time goes on to the left foot, in towards full forward, Everett was there working hard. Look at this kick. A tight first half, in which St Kilda shot the lights out with eight goals from nine scoring shots, saw Port a point up. The power had 38,000 behind them as they fought hard in the third term, holding the Premiership favourites at bay. A goal down at the last change. Almost directly in front. Into a slight breeze. But then St Kilda's class on ballers took charge. Three goals to the power, six to St Kilda. And season 1997 had come to an end. The final result, 33 points. The final's just half a game away. crowd of 38,589 here to witness this match. And they have not been let down. Can laid convert, leans back on a big drop pass. And they hang in there. Cummings, Wilson, Eagleton, Laid, all with two. Huskus, Mead and Lyle, the best players. I've been surprised and uh, not only myself but a lot of other people involved in the club and, uh, and just people in general I think. Uh, uh, it's been a good year for the club, a, a great debut season and um, it's certainly something to, to build on. Checking some of the key figures for 1997. Scotty Cummings third behind Tony Modra and Sav Rocker for the Coleman medal. 70 goals, 50 behinds, underlining his strike power. Matthew Primus, 255 hitouts, ninth in that department behind Paul Salmon. And then on Tuesday, September 12, Michael Wilson collected the club's highest individual honour, the Norwich Rising Star, as the outstanding rookie in the AFL. The best young talent in the country gathered together today for the Norwich Rising Star Award. Port Adelaide's Michael Wilson, an almost unanimous selection as Rookie of the Year, ahead of the Swans' Stephen Carey and Essendon's Blake Carousella. The 20-year-old admitted he deliberately held back from the national draft to be part of Port Power's debut. Yeah, I just sort of held off. There was no real serious phone call, so uh, yeah, I just hung on.